Look at us. Nowhere, dude. It's always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Low Abigail. Just scratch. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to episode two of my Red Dead Redemption two first and blind playthrough thank you so much for watching the previous episode if you did miss it though by chance uh, i always have it at the top right corner if you want to watch it before this one and i'm so excited to get back into it we're still in the cosplay of course and we got xena in the room she's vibing with the game too she's having a great time and we're gonna see what this next mission is with p whoever that is on the map we're gonna find out right now and yeah i really hope you enjoyed the last episode i am definitely trying to get into the mindset of outlaws and the opposite personality of me <laughs> which is a law-abiding citizen <laughs> I am definitely that so we're getting into it and I was also thinking and I forgot to mention it in the last episode in the first episode uh Rockstar I think the only games I've played of Rockstar were Vice City and San Andreas um, Grand Theft Auto, of course, and um, that's been about it. So this is really my first full experience with a Rockstar game, from what I'm remembering. Uh, I played, obviously, Vice City and uh, San Andreas when they first came out, and I was just a youngin' when they came out, um, so I wasn't really playing it for the story. I was playing it for having the most chaotic time ever. Me and my sister, my sister and I would try to just get as many stars as possible. So that was our experience with Grand Theft Auto. Um, but we haven't played, or I haven't played, through a Rockstar game ever until now. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's see what's up with P in here. I'm very proud of the last mission we did. There was a bunch of bad guys and I didn't die. We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Speak to your companions by holding L2 to focus on them and use the interaction options. Still definitely getting used to the buttons and everything like that, so please bear with me as I'm, I'm learning. Serious. This is bad. I'm gonna be focusing just on Red Dead Redemption 2 for the most part. I might throw in a few random videos here or there, um, since this is going to take me a while. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be just focusing on this game, so I should be able to really get into the zone and not be distracted by anything else. We're okay. We have a few cans of food Genesis. and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found <laughs> enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Oh, boy. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What is you awful? You can't go on. Look it at sounds you. awful. I can't stay here listening to you two. Always got Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. From and you can arrow? kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? For real. Come along. <coughs> Man, yeah. Arthur does everything. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. Oh, snap. I'm never too old to learn, I imagine. Oh, here we go. Got 22 arrows now. Assorted, salted. Awful. Awful. How are you holding up, Match Charles? me with a companion by I'm okay. holding or tapping X while hand. riding. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. We're spawning increase level two. Right now. Oh, sure hope I can. Health increase Never level really four. Got the hang of it. 
You'll be fine. You've unlocked rearing with this horse. Hold R1 and tap square when stationary to perform this move. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking ah, about. Okay. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. All right. Maybe that will come in handy at some point. Man, it's hard at the beginning to really like listen to we'll everything they're saying. Way. Find some higher ground. And to also learn what the game is trying to teach me. Been a wild few days, all right. Been riding north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John. That thing with the old Driscolls? You've had a lot put on you. For real? I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. What glitch are we having happen right there? <laughs> so my bow and arrow or something? Can't wait for this snow to get past us. There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, <laughs> let's try this way. Keep your okay. eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. Yeah. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. We're in a survival situation. I have to remind myself of that. Hey, stop here a second. Okay. I see something. Dang, you got good eyes. Uh, I don't see nothing. Careful. Sorry. <sighs> like a friggin' rabbit? Has deer been here? Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> we'll track them on foot. Okay. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Okay. The gun will scare everything around. Did I miss where this was supposed to be, actually? There we go. Press uh, right to cycle between modified ammo types for this weapon. I obviously don't have that right now. Come on, grab that bow off the horse. All right. Quiet as you can. Make less noise Stay when low. crouched. Move slowly. Okay. Twenty-two. I see the tracks. Yeah. I think so. Maybe not. Well, now Focus. I don't. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and other clues. Oh. Oh, whoa. Press R1 to focus on the track. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. This supposed to be like shiny. This is cool. Enable eagle eye and focus on the tracks to highlight them. Your scent is also shown in eagle eye blowing in the direction of the wind. What? The animals will flee if they smell your scent, so remain downwind or far away when hunting. I see a bobcat or something. Down there. Oh no, it's a deer. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready with that bow? The further you draw the string Try back, the more damage your arrow will inflict. Quick and clean. Oh man. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Take the shot. Good shot. Now let's try for another. This one fell in the friggin' water. Attract an animal's attention by selecting call while aiming at it. Oh dang. 
Got two tracks. Sorry, dear. We're surviving out here, all right? I see there's a little paw print on the map. Oh, gosh. When close, study an animal to discover information on it and its quality. Pelt quality is reduced with average or poor kills. Ugh. Okay. Why do I want to call it? Yeah, that seems like the opposite of what I want Watch to do. Out there, or we'll scare them all off. Sorry. <laughs> I just... They told me to call them. Dang, they ran off quick. Whoops, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. I'll see him. Can I get him from here? Gosh. Budge. Is this too far away? Dang it. Focus, Arthur. We need this meat. Sorry. Careful. This might be our only chance for a good meal. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think I really need to do this anymore, huh? I can see him right there. I mean, we got one deer now. My stamina is pretty low, I think. Still figuring out all the health stuff. The icons, just because... I would think they would be, like, full instead of, like, partly full. But maybe it's just because I really am just that low in health right now in this situation. I got it. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Sorry, dear. Whistle for your horse. Compendium updated white-tailed deer. Press this for details. Am I pressing the wrong thing? This is a screenshot button. Okay. So what do I check here? Map? Oh, dang. Whoa. This is all we've seen of this map so far, y'all. Lake Isabella, Spider Gorge, Dead Boot Creek, Cairn Lake, Barrow Lagoon, Beartooth Beck. Wow. I don't want to, oh, compendium. Challenges and total completion 3% obviously story 2% obviously we just started Okay, one of 178 animals discovered three of 77 equipment discovered no fish No gang one gang plants one horse six weapons Oh and cigarette cards I like this kind of stuff. Information on the 12 different collectible packs of cigarette cards that can be found. Each pack features 12 unique and informative cards. Interesting. All right. Well, now we know. Where is my horsey? Oh, my horsey is so great. I'm coming. Good job, buddy. You're lucky we don't eat you instead. Not bad, boy. Poor deer. All right. Yeah. 
Let's meet up with Charles. Yeah, am I really that far off? I'm going the most horrible way like usual. Probably. Probably. There he is. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head All back. Right. Let's do it. Animal carcasses yeah. can be dropped off to Pearson at the nice butcher. Work, Arthur. Should thing. be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. To contribute to gang found. supplies. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. So, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. I don't even think we know the name of this gang yet, do we? You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and mm -hmm. go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. Yeah. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, mm -hmm. everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> <laughs> Foreshadowing? Well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. Looks so what is realistic it with the out here now. You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sense. Is that a bear? Watch out. Bear up ahead. Oh my gosh. Let's I see if we can feeling. find another way around. Bear. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. For real. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Where the heck should we go? We're just gonna keep going forward. I guess so. Cut up here, off the trail. Okay. I was waiting for something. The bear has spooked your horse when a, <gasps> when a predator is nearby, your horse gets agitated. Hold L3 to calm it. We're good, we're good. Give him a little pet. Hey, you never talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Mm. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. 
Okay, recognize the sure. waterfall I there. I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. With the Dutch gang, Dutch then? Dutch certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Dang. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. You taught me to read. John, Jeez. too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. Dude. That's why we need to stick by him through this. It's been 20 he years, and how old is Dutch? Right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. Give him a little pet. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest Real. of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hugged me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Hmm. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Hit your horse. Good. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. Takes a lifetime of practice to master. I tried doing, you know, shooting a bow and arrow before. Well, well, well. It definitely does take a lot of practice. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. <laughs> see, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. Lucky you. Skin you. That one, you. You dumped on the floor there. I'm sorry, dear. Ugh. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Moore. So nasty. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Nasty. You've unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Le 
Leviticus oh, I thought Cornwall? You was him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll this mind game. you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. Wow. You're still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Count how many times you say this is like a movie. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but. <laughs> you ain't coming out. nowhere, dude. It's always ugly, Dutch. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. <laughs> Little Abigail. Just scratch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Aww. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, we real went way all way out there to rescue Bill, him. now you, you ride ahead him. and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. For real, Come dude. on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. Hosea. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Leviticus. Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Oh, blue-eyed horse. There we go, y'all. Everyone ready? Get suited up. All right, let's head. Oh man, Master Hunter 103 Deer Skin. Oh, compendium updated. Okay, gentlemen. And riding with the gang, up. double tap X to move up the formation. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisky, or double tap R1 to jump back. From Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Oh boy. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. Mm -hmm. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? No. Yep. Crystal. <laughs> yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! Yee-haw! Well, like that horse, black and white. Shots too. Wow, look how beautiful. Uh, the snow, finally. Wow. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes, but it we does. Need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. 
So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times Whoa. are you gonna ask the same Why question? Why are you guys cut me off? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to sorry, cash sorry, them. Sorry, 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 sorry. Everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Oh, lordy. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Do you want me to walk or take my horse? I think I'm supposed to walk. I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. I'm assuming if I wasn't supposed to take my horse, they would tell me. Right? This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember to thank Homo Driscoll for planning it out so well. Bill, how you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Connect the wire to the detonator. So nice with all the snow. Ooh, an elk or something. I don't even know where we are. Are we in like Colorado or something? Oh, triangle. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You okay. head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right. Well, I'm glad I brought the horse down. Do you want to bring your horse back up? Yeah, yeah. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Hope so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Um, all right. We're covering our faces. Cycle between. Hold on. How do I cover my face? Is it this? Oh, I see. Oh, a light, a knife. That includes you, Arthur? Um, I don't know how. Have you um, sorry, there we go. <laughs> sorry. The price on our heads. I forgot. I forgot how to do it. I'm learning, okay? Please. Be nice. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Do I, though? Gosh, I would hate to be a train we conductor. Uh, shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be. 
be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? What? Jump on the train! Ah! Here we go! Here we go. Oh no! Help. My gosh, guys, you had one job! Pull me up! Grab Lenny. I'm getting you, Lenny. Don't you worry. You're my friend. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know if I had to hold it or now, slam it. Look how beautiful Wait, this landscape it? is. He fell. He fell. The others will get him. Let's go. Um, can you please we need to stop, stop it? This train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Um, yeah, go yes. ahead, Lenny. You go. Okay. How am I supposed to search stuff? Please don't yell at me about searching stuff. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. But there's a guy right there. Try. We are not having Lenny die. Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to loot at the same time? I like how the loading thing is like a revolver or whatever. All right. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yes, you go. Consume okay. yellow tonics to fortify your bars. Hey. Go. stuff. Let's get these beans. Should we move up? Bro. Wire, but we won't mention that. 
We're looting, we're looting, we're looting, we're looting. Hold on. Now I'll go ahead. Okay, let's go. Shot, I gotta reload. When aiming, switch between. Okay. Nice job, dude. I'm stinking. Still okay? I think so. Good. What? My um, my hazy right now because yes. I'm about to Let's die. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. Great. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you? <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh, snap. Williamson, okay. give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Uh, run away. Unless you've got a death wish. Not step back, fellas. Search that train. I'm trying, try, I'm trying. Get on the train, let's do it. We'll think about it first. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like a palace. Oh, I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Should be easy as cake. 
You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, yeah. kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Letter to to Leviticus okay. Cornwall See from Leland Oil open. Development Company. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial pe phase in of there. exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation in Barino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar in the Leland Oil That's Development Company done. dated November 9th, 1898. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Oh Bonds? I don't think so. On receipt of the funds, yeah. we will proceed with phases two and useful. three of the project. Know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. And present you with a detailed report of the findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, Railroad head of accounts, Leland Oil invoices, Development Company. Blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Mm. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> mm, nice. I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Archibald Jameson. Have you checked all Dear the Leviticus, doors and cabinets? thank you for telegramming for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your resources, your sources. Uh, the coal industry is quite different Nothing from the oil industry yet. in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting well, at your convenience looking. to exchange ideas and educate each other God on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansburg and give you a personal These tour of the mine and its associated faculties, Arthur, you facilities. In there? I look forward to further correspondence. Yours <sighs> sincerely, Archibald Jameson. There must be something. I'm trying to look. You guys keep talking over me, all right? Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. They rush me, man. So if I miss anything, it's because I'm living no, in the this moment. Looks like yeah, we got a lockbox down here. We're going to have to pick a lock. Oh, dang. It was just open. Awesome. Cool. It's definitely what Thank we got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <laughs> oh, nothing in there. Search the drawer. Get back to the gang. I guess we'll take the cigarettes. Dead eye, twenty five percent to level three. Ooh. Oh, did we find a card? Twenty six bucks. Let's go. Investigate what? What did it pop up? Ooh, yeah, let's take this pocket watch. We're going to be over encumbered soon, aren't we? That was my life in Skyrim. A fine brandy. We don't need that. We don't need it. All right, back to the gang we go. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> Take my horse. Threaten. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Then get on so there. a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Go on. Go to the engine car and start the train? What about my horse? I care too much about my horse already. Dang, we gotta go far. I'm scared. Got another pocket watch. Everybody's got pocket watches around here. 
Oh, you can see the little X's of all the people <laughs> that you could loot. That's funny. Ooh, look at that beautiful place. There's like a little hole in the stone, a little natural bridge. Enter train. I don't know how to drive this thing. Okay, cool. I see. Dang. Alright. It's just gonna get going until it stops, I guess. Until it runs out of coal, I assume. I want to go on a train ride like that. I've only been on a train, but it was only like a back and forth kind of thing. It wasn't a long trip. Eastward bound. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Getting out of here, y'all. Whenever I complain about traffic, I just gotta remind myself that at least I'm not doing this. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Mike is gonna be a troublemaker, I already know. He's already started with troublemaking. How simple, you know, not simple, but uh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be like truck simulator, but with the carriage. Look how beautiful! I love it. Oh, I want to go freaking hiking so bad. Florida does not have. Get us out the stream. We gotta keep us moving, but calm. I'm trying. I was literally looking at that. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> you all right back there? Is everything and then it's like, look all boom, right? everything goes to crap. On? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Mm. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up! Nearly bash the wheel. That's a See? lot. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh oh, something about to happen. Yeah. Being watched. Who the hell what are you? you? If they oh, were okay. in trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. 
Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Switch so between different radar sizes. Oh. So, yes. And compass. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Sold them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? Mm -hmm. We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. Well, I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Run over, you guys. Get out of the way. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles. Born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, mm, nice little covered bridge. What happened to your track? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. You're now hot. It's shown by the flashing sun icon in your health core. Oh, you're too hot, too cold. Right way. That to depends. avoid becoming too hot, make sure we to still head west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan. No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called Valentine. again? Horseshoe over Oh, the... horseshoe over It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. Mm -hmm. How low Beautiful. do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. Oh, just ran over something. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. We're in, like, survival mode, apparently, you know? Working on there, anyway. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh gosh. You acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores using used in cooking. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. Okay. Compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Mm. 
I've never heard of Yaro. I've heard of ginseng, though. Are they wanting me to look around? And I'm assuming nothing shows up on the map as an icon until I discover it. Stick just flew out of nowhere. Definitely way different than oh, what's happening up here? Oh, just some deer. Then Skyrim, which I just played through. Did a hundred episodes. Took me almost a year. But that's okay. Now we're streaming it on Wednesdays. And it's so fun. This has been like an experience, this game. All the cutscenes, the cinematic shots. My chaoticness does kind of want to go on these other roads just to see. I don't know if I'm supposed to stop, you know? I don't feel like uh, comfortable exploring yet, I guess. There you are, brother. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Okay. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh, oh, oh. Literally, I was just talking about. Hold on, R1 to bring the wagon to a complete stop. Why? Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I didn't know I was waiting for you, dude. Any trouble getting in um, here out of here? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. Let's for get now, back on anyway. the track here. <laughs> dude, where is this path? <laughs> that tiny little thing? Hard turn, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. Okay. We're getting it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Dang. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Beautiful. Don't run over that rock. It's a boulder. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen. We have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. I love Dutch's Arthur and outfit. I were about too. to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off 
when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That mud seems morons. a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp Donate money and valuables to camp? Slice. Oh, to upgrade ammo, now food, and other camp supplies. Hmm. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Keep shave, change clothes, or store weapons in the weapon locker at your you tent. Properly. We can shave, too? Huh. <laughs> There's our little tent. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. I'm assuming there's a bunch of chapters in this game. A couple of weeks later. It's like a movie. Take a shot of water every time I say that. We got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Yeah, I haven't kept the journal in so right long. Jose. Ooh, we got some tea for me. <laughs> Eat, drink, and rest to maintain right your day. course. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Compendium updated. We got a camera. When you gain or lose weight, that or that will be shown in your health core. Mission complete. Eastward bound. I'm going to lose weight and gain weight in this game? Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent or visit a barber shop to maintain your facial hair. What? Okay, let's shave then. <laughs> We want to trim pomade hair. Wow, you have no pomade to apply though. Okay. Trim your own hair. Okay. All facial hair, mustache, chin, chops. I mean, it has chops. Highlighted. Length four of 10. Adjust. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I remember my dad has always had like a full beard, beard like this, like his whole life and my whole life growing up, obviously. And it was always shocking whenever he would shave. We would be like, what the? Hold on, do I have to do one at a time? Okay. All right, we'll just go to two. I don't know. All right there, Molly. Two. Hey. Let's have a little scruff, I guess. Ah, I see. Oh, well, it's all gone now. <laughs> it's all gone. Your beard is getting long. No, it is not long anymore. It shouldn't be. It's all shaved. We're clean shaven. Your gang's camp is shown by the... You know, the TP tent on the map. Got that. Okay. 
horseshoe overlook. I love how everything looks. The heartlands. Hold on. An H. Good morning, Arthur. What's N H? I know it's not New Hampshire. Each day, Pearson will make stew, which you can eat from the pot at the money symbol or at the food symbol. Hey, Dutch. Arthur. Sup? How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, in Blackwater. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. I raised you well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Item request. All right. Makes me think of, oh, Blackwater, keep on rolling, Mississippi moon. Won't you keep on shining on me? I think that's the lyrics. So I can have some of this here food. Oh, I gotta go to him. I see. Hello. Can I have some uh, breakfast, supper, crafting upgrades? I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. Oh. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Hmm. A satchel, increased carrying capacity. <laughs> Dude, isn't this a song from Shawshank Redemption? I swear I hear this all the time. <laughs> Recipe, R3. Leather. Okay. Donate three valuables. This one's pretty cool looking, this kit satchel. Okay, so each one has something, sorry. Tonic satchel, increase the carrying capacity for all types of tonics from shop, to bought to crafted versions. Ingredient satchel, kit satchel. But getting it. Um, valuable satchel, material satchel, and legend of the east satchel. Okay. Obviously, we can't craft that yet. Arthur's lodging. Oh. An alligator skull. There's alligators in here. Bighorn ram skull. Cougar pelt covered chest. A boar skin sketched and secured. Stretched and secured to your tabletop. Ox hide rug. Okay. John's lodging. So, I ran away, came back. All right, boar skin rug, camp tables, pronghorn leather tabletops. What's the point? Just make it look different? Pronghorn skull. We're gonna have to kill a lot of animals, aren't we? Moose antlers, wolf skull. <gasps> oh, a banjo. Camp seat cover, campfire log cover, um, lean to cowhide ground cover, and we got our scout campfire. Okay, goats, elk antler, and hanging bones. We definitely don't have any of these things I'm yet. Gonna think about it. Oh, can I donate something? Could really use some good meat for oh. this stew. Let's just donate all. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Animal fat? I, I click donate all. Good job, Arthur. I see. Okay. Donate all that. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome. Now. Good morning. Where do I get my food, though? I thought he said I could grab a bowl. Here it is. It's very, very picky about where I, I am. I'm trying to eat some stew. I don't give a damn. Here we go. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. Mm-hmm. When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to walk a few days before being able to grab another. Wait a few days. I swear I can read. Uh, 
Oh, eat. Dude, now I'm hungry for some soup and stew. That sounds so good. So I wonder if it ever goes up fully, my health bar. You know? All right, so our little yellow icons, I assume, are... Mm -mm -mm. Look, at, look at this view. Hi. Who are you? Guess we'll never know. Look how beautiful. Ah! Kid, you're awfully close to oh, the Good train. Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Would you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Train. So beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How can I tell what are things that are collectible? Who are you? Good morning, Arthur. What do you think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. For real. Is that a health station? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Strauss. So he's the doctor then? Oh, no, nah, I don't, okay. I guess we're gonna take it anyway. Stealing someone's gin. So I see there's a little exclamation mark for something, but I don't know what. Is it this? Oh, maybe this guy. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Come on. Good morning. What do you think of your new home? Let me go now, please. No can do. Karen is his name. Got a little chickens. Well, I guess we're. All quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. Did you Hello, and Marcus Lenny. see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. But we don't good. know for how long, so you best leave me to it. Okie dokie. Laundry and sewing. The exciting life of an outlaw. Yes, if they only knew how boring it really is. I was trying to say hi Morning, to her. Arthur. Morning. How you doing, Karen? Ugh. All right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. All right, bed? there, Biff. I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> Been cooped up for days. About ready well, to stab one of these needles in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a dog? Where's the dog? Whoa, what's over here? Whoa, what? Someone's abandoned the uh, camp or what? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure everything out here. What's this? It's a bunch of junk. Um, on my grandparents' farm when I was growing up and they would watch me when my parents were at work. We would always find all these old bottles in the ground. And now I know why, because there's a bunch of litters. <laughs> What's this? Uh, revolver cartridges, yes. Right, I think I want that. And then we got a banjo, can we play? Oh man. Can we play guitar? I need to learn how to play guitar in real life, actually. <laughs> got you there, tough guy. Examine Just the place, my friend. Charles' photograph. Just the place. Aww. And who's this over here? Is this Dutch? Well, I don't think I've said hi to you yet, hey, John. 
stronger for sure. But not strong enough to work. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see what this money thing is real quick. Morning. Contribute. I got some money. Twelve bucks? Give money. Um oh. How much do I even have? Twelve? Thirty-six? Dang. Let's donate like thirteen then. That's my boy. Nice. Reet Molly. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. All right, let's get to the next section here. We should be all good to go, I think. This is my horse, right? Long time, boy. Tennessee Walker. You can command your horse to stay, flee, or follow by focusing on it with L2 when it's nearby. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see. Where does it show, like, our quests and stuff? Uncle? Okay. Uncle needs to speak to you. Let's um head in that direction then. Whoa, what's all this other red stuff though? What is this? I don't know. Yeah, can we like... Okay. Come on! Uncle's this way. What? I just got on my horse and he already needs to talk to me? What is happening? What? Are you uncle? <laughs> Wake him up. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my horse is like, ow, bye. Ow, ow. Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. Polite society. Uh, Valentine's style. Well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, Killing, lying, fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about <clears throat> house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Okay. I'm trying not to get us wrecked. We're going on a road trip. A road trip. I don't know what this bar in the bottom middle looks like. Or what it's for, though. Let's go any faster. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Ladies, sing us a song. Yeah. Oh, I 
snap. We're about to have a race. Got the freaking merge up here or what? What are you doing, dude? We're trying to just have a good old time. When are you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Bro, what you lumbago, doing? Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Gosh. Help him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Agitated horses need to be calm before you can approach them. When near, lock on oh, and press Easy. square to calm them. Easy. I don't want to get kicked. Once calmed, you'll be able to lead or ride the horse back to its owner. He's a little pat. I'm sorry he sucked at driving. This here's taking a dump. You're okay. <laughs> Stress. Um, study. Okay, we got a shire. Let's lead it. Poop. We're the horse whisperer. Let's make sure there's no trains coming. Okay, we're good. Stressing me out. Here you go. You silly goose. Here. Here you go. Your actions in the world impact your honor level. No, and change how people in the really. world interact with no, you. Positive actions will make you more honorable. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Welcome. I'm trying to get to town, dude. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. Mm -hmm. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. Be yeah, train's gonna wait on. You not hadn't been here? I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all mm. that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up mm -hmm. there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Got a little bit of a town here. We got a saloon. We got a sheriff. We got a drug. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Bears always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Interesting. You put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that though, Arthur? Dang, Probably not. There's a lot of people here actually. Park up down the end there, near the stable. I want to go to the general store. See if they have any little knickknacks. Right here? All right, that's enough for one day. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The okay. cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. 
Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Follow oh, uncle. Yeah, we, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. Mud and morons. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. <laughs> You're my second favorite parasite. Very Jeez. funny. I lied. Ringworm. <laughs> then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Let's go in. So. Items in the shop can be purchased directly from the shelves by looking at the item and holding the square. Candy. We're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Oh, browse the carrots. There, <gasps> Why potatoes. Don't you pick up some coffee while we're here. Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Buy some coffee. Ooh, the okay. Nearest the door. Um. Um. Does this place have potatoes? Dang, dude, he just rocked me. You not get cover scent lotion. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just starting looking around, okay? This is so cool how it looks at the shop. I love this. Ah, <gasps> oh, out cakes for the horses. So, you're Ooh. actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? How's the catalog? Is, young folk got no respect for their elders no more. We got some ready? stuff to sell, I Lamb think. Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Hmm. Actually, I don't really know what to sell yet. Well, look at this. Hair pomade. Let's get what myself some hair deal? pomade. I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Buy some coffee. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep. Salmon. That's fine <gasps> okay. Can sweet if you're corn, done, I'll meet you peaches. outside. I won't be too long. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Okay, All me outside. Best, I want candy. The fact that I can't buy any candy makes me sad. Oh, no. Where is it? Chocolate bar. Yes. My dreams have come true. Give me that chocolate. All right. Oh, hold on. Oh, there is candies. What the heck? I'm spending all my money on candy. <laughs> what is that, though? What is that? Eh. Where's that keep popping up there? Something bait. Herbivore bait? Oh, it's over here. Sorry. Okay. Oh, here's we got to your good and health, candy. Sir. I'm happy. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Mm. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> Right, it's real quiet out there. Oh, is that the so, NHS? Yeah. New we're still in care. Uh, I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That uh -oh. does not look ideal. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. The fuse. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You don't want to find out. You're making a 
big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. All right, we gotta search for a Karen in the next episode. Woohoo! Well, we are gonna go ahead and end it there. I do want to do um, longer episodes, like hour and a half or more, because I know this game is a long game. But right now we're gonna cut it a little bit shorter and we'll get right into it in the next episode. Thank you so, so much. Uh, make sure to type the type. Be sure to add the secret magic word from earlier into your comment. If I didn't say it out loud, I'll put it on the screen usually. And yeah, I appreciate you so much. I hope you're having a good time with me as we're exploring into this game and figuring out what we're doing, just kind of getting into the swing of things. Obviously the first few episodes, the first like, you know, hour or two, few hours of the game are going to be learning the ropes, the lasso ropes. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing pretty dang good though. So Thank you so much. A big thank you, as always, to my YouTube members, my patrons, and my Ko-Fi members. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your extra support in helping making this channel happen and helping me. And, yeah, you're just amazing. Thank you so much for everything. And make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you're new here especially. And, yeah, thank you so much. I will see you on the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Bye. Have a good one.